Yeah, Noosa was great when I first came here in, you know, the mid 80s and um, it was a completely different vibe to now. Um, although I really got to say, it's, it's, you know, it's still got the nice feel. You know, it's not, it, ha it doesn't feel like a high-rise city, it, it's actually still a really cool place. Oh, there's a lot to like. I, I came here for surfing and um, I, I love surfing. I probably surf a few times a week at the National Park or at Sunshine Beach and um, it's just got so much waterway, it's got beautiful climate and, you know, obviously people. When I first started out, I was designing places that were pretty simple, but I always just wanted to try and do something that was a little bit different to what was being done. There was a lot of project homes and they were quite simple, you know, your typical three bedroom brick box. And I was always just wanting to push the envelope a little bit. I love Bali, I love Asia, I love what they do with resorts and that type of thing. And I looked at what they were doing over there and I thought, Perhaps some of that could be brought back to Noosa because we've got a similar kind of environment. You know. By the time we got to the stage of um, designing and building uh, 55 Way in the Drive, uh, the clientele had picked up, people were spending more money, and we were able to put a little bit more emphasis into design. That was still relatively simple, but they, we started to work on uh, trying to get the breeze to flow through the house in both, in both directions, trying to get a lot of light in, northern sun and that type of thing, and obviously pick up the best of the view. But overall, they're a lightweight home and fairly simple. So by the time we got to 22, the Anchorage, the style around had changed again. Budget was a big, a big thing. A lot of people were prepared to spend a whole lot more money on their houses, so we were pushing the envelope again. Uh, the use of concrete became a very big thing as well. So we were uh, using concrete floors and concrete roofs and we started doing a lot of curves in walls and uh, roofs and that type of thing, uh, which then allowed us a whole lot more scope to do what, pretty much whatever we wanted. Yeah, 2931 Wayuna was probably one of my favourite homes. It was, you know, it's on a double block facing north on the river, one of the most beautiful spots. And we were, we were allowed to design pretty much whatever we wanted. The client was, was very much like, you just do it. Um, so we used the curvature of the, the front of the block and just expanded on that with the home, just curving around. And uh, yeah, it was kind of like a, uh, probably one of the highest budget homes built on Noosa Sound in its particular time. So that just gave us so much scope to just have a, a whole lot of fun. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really tricky when you build for yourself because I know, I know what I don't like, but it's hard to figure out what you like sometimes. Because I deal with so many clients and it, you, you, you tend to be a little bit directed, but on your own home you've got all this freedom. Um, but on this particular place that I've designed for ourselves now, it's, it's pretty much on, on trend. Everything's square, everything's straight, um, which has been almost like a departure for us because of our way that we've used curves and that in the past. So this place is very almost clinical in its finishes and that type of thing. But it's it's still got a, a warmth factor. It still works on the same principles of the you know breeze coming in the right directions, picking up the views and that type of thing. We've we've got some really exciting projects on at the moment. We're doing some in incredibly um, large and beautiful homes on the Gold Coast and another one in Sydney and another one in Melbourne and we've got great clients to work for. I think the trend now is really cool because people are, it's almost like another bend in where the architecture world is going and it's quite, it's quite exciting so yeah we've got some beautiful stuff on the drawing board at the moment. We've been involved with Tom Offerman for a long time and um, we've always found through the various sales people that he's had working for him for the last 20 odd years or so. We've had a great relationship and they've always looked after us with you know, our own properties and obviously with other properties and, and then just being, being a, you know, grateful, pushing clients our way as well. So yeah, we've really appreciated working with them.